Hello everyone, look at this big boy haul that I've got for you today. I am so excited. Artix actually sent me the best package. I'm so excited to show you guys uh, the things that they've sent me. They sent me a bunch of Paul Rubin stuff and also their actual Artix uh, watercolor brush markers, uh, which I'm gonna get into so, so soon. But yeah, this is basically an unboxing and a review video if you haven't guessed yet. And I'm gonna be unboxing and reviewing these for you guys and also painting something with them. And I'm so, so excited about all this Paul Rubin stuff. I am a huge fan of their brand and I don't own any of their things, but but I follow a lot of artists that use their stuff and I am obsessed already and I haven't even used them. So I'm so excited to open these up and see if they're worth all the hype. So first of all, we've got this watercolor pad sort of sketchbook, which is gorgeous, first of all. Uh, it's got all these gold sort of details and it's basically a pad uh, that you use this like greenish teal thing, which by the way is in my favorite color, come on. And you use this basically to take out the pages. And this, I wish I've had this tool my whole life because I have struggled to get these weird paper things out of uh, watercolor pads so many times but this little baby finally came into my life and it's gonna just make it all better and now for the big boy the big bad showstopper these watercolors that i have seen so much of i'm so excited to try them out look how beautiful the packaging is it comes with this beautiful pink cloth this gorgeous pink color in everything look at this tin it is so cute I'm so excited. I follow an artist on Instagram called 0073.uv um, and she does amazing paintings in watercolor and she has uh, done a lot of Paul Rubens reviews and I've always wanted to try them out for myself. So I'm very excited to do this video today. Inside it comes with this these beautiful panels and uh, the all these colors, look at how gorgeous they are. And now enjoy a time lapse of me just taking them all out of the little foil paper packaging and yeah i'm gonna do also swatches to all the things that i received today of course but yeah i basically kept all the little sticky sticker things the that came on top of the panels just so i could remember which one is what name on the swatches page if this makes any sense basically because i can't read chinese and also the um yeah the the pads didn't have names next to them so i just kind of kept them just for reference just for now um but yeah so just before we get on into the uh swatches of everything i'm going to just unbox this artex watercolor brush pens and i've actually never tried watercolor brush markers before but i've heard that they are pretty cool and they sound pretty cool so i want to see how these work and if they work so they're basically uh watercolors inside a pen and you can use water to blend them and use them as watercolors basically and they bring so many colors it's ridiculous in this packet and uh for the swatches now i'm going to be using this little faber castell uh rubber cup that i got while i was in florence it's pretty cool it's one of those like collapsible cups for watercolors on the go and i'm pretty pretty big fan of it so yeah not spawn that one uh, but if faber castell want to spawn me then hello <laughs> first of all look how pigmented these are these are definitely worth all the hype that i've seen on on instagram and everywhere the colors of these watercolors is just amazing i was literally like just i gasped with every time i just used one of the colors. i was just can you see how flabbergasted i am these are probably one of the most beautiful watercolors i've ever owned i am so grateful that uh Artic sent me these thank you guys so much i am, have been using these non-stop um they're absolutely gorgeous the colors are so so pigmented and they just they're just so beautiful as you can see by these swatches they are just mesmerizing and uh there are so many colors as well like oh my god they're just gorgeous i listen i could not stop talking about these for a solid like two days my housemates were sick of me genuinely the these are so cool and i don't actually know how much these retail for but i will find out and i will put here in the video right now in the edit so you guys can kind of have an idea of how much you're going to spend on these because i do recommend them a lot and yeah with that said the swatches was pretty much complete uh and look how pretty oh my god they're gorgeous i'm so so happy with these <laughs> they're my babies they're literally i take better care of these watercolors than i do of my phone right now my little baby and now for swatches part two 
watercolor brush sparks edition so these pens actually don't really have names on each one of them they have like little uh name codes and everything but they pretty much say nothing to me, so um, I'm going pretty much by the uh, color on the lid. So trying these out um, at first glance, they actually work much better than I was expecting. I tried blending them out in two different ways, so blending one out immediately as I put it on the paper and then putting down two of the colors, waiting for like 10 minutes and then trying to blend them out and see if they would still blend out seamlessly. And they actually blend out really, really good. Both the ones like right after putting it on the paper and the ones after uh, waiting 10 minutes. So before I actually swatched all the colors out for you guys, the packaging of it was kind of giving me anxiety because it wasn't in color rainbow order. So first of all, I took 30 minutes out of my day to do that. Um, yeah, that did happen. So after they were all in rainbow order, it was time to put them all down on paper and uh, I was gonna basically put them all down and then blend them out later with water now that I know that they do blend out after waiting a while. So. Um, my first impressions of these, and I'll get into it a in a bit more detail later during the uh, painting process, but I think these are really a really good option for someone who's new to watercolors and in terms of like the consistency and the blending and just knowing how to work with them. I think these are a really good option because you don't really have to, first of all, mix colors as much and you can kind of just work on the water aspect of the watercolors. If that makes any sense, I just think they're a really good option for beginners because it's basically just practicing the blending and the how much water to add to make a color lighter and etc etc. So I really do recommend these if you're a beginner to watercolors or if you like watercolors but are always on the go and you just haven't found a good panel uh, uh, yet and a good panel, no, a good pan. I just think these are really really good and they actually look like watercolors once they're dry and everything they look seamless they look beautiful so um yeah they have so many colors so you don't really have to worry much about the uh, mixing colors aspect of the watercolors bit so that's kind of my sort of initial reaction to them they do work some of them are a little harder to blend after uh, putting them down on paper, but I think after enough determination and water added to them, they will blend out uh, seamlessly. Just for the sake of this video and the swatches, I just kind of did them a bit quick. But they are really, really gorgeous. Look at those colors. They're really nice and so many colors. And they come in like a little suitcasey kind of um, plastic thing that you can just carry around. They're just very, very practical. And now, getting into the actual painting part of this video, I used my little tool and pad to get out a piece of paper from my new Paul Rubens pad. I'm so happy. It was so satisfying. It was amazing. I, I love this little guy so much. Uh, I also love that the paper has like black uh, lining on the sides of it. I think it just adds a really cool element to the paper. I don't know why. I just think it looks cool. But yeah, little detail. So I just kind of sketched out a little uh, person on the page. I just wanted to do something a little simple since I'm just trying out these uh, materials. And I sketched out this human being on the page and kind of I wanted to use most of the more powerful colors like the blues and the greens and the skin tones and just do a bit of blending as well as some background work just to try it all out. And that's kind of uh, where my thought process went when drawing this this out. and. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much it for the, uh, sketch. Yeah, I was really excited to try these out, like, in an actual painting. I've since used them for everything, and I know that I said previously that my favorite watercolor set was the Arteza, uh, watercolors, my little, little pan of watercolors, but, I mean, now, there's a strong contender on the table, guys. Like, there's, I've got my, obviously, my Arteza little pan is my go-to for on the go and painting outside but man am i obsessed with these paul rubin watercolors right now like oh my god i am so like happy that my water my dream watercolors have finally fallen into my hands i am i am complete So yeah, with the sketch pretty much done, I kind of started uh, testing out the uh, blending and the colors and just uh, 
swatching some stuff out and I had my little swatch cheat sheet on the side which I always have even if I've used my watercolors tons of times it's like I just I'm really bad at memorizing which color looks like what so I always have my cheat sheet with me and I yeah because normally when the pan is like pressed in and you just see the watercolor on the on the pan it doesn't look what it like it's what it's gonna look like obviously because it's much darker and it's a different color so it's always good to have a cheat sheet just so you know what you're about to put on the page basically so yeah i started off by putting down the flat washes and sort of base colors of my painting this blue oh my god do you see how beautiful this blue is that i'm using right now i am obsessed with that color it is actually so gorgeous and it's it just is like that i didn't mix that color it's just that gorgeous it's it's like the perfect sky blue for me i'm just very happy with it i love a good blue man i love a good blue so yeah i just started adding um layers and just, just you know testing out the blending of, of these watercolors which by the way shocker was amazing They're, they blend beautifully with each other and i could not be happier to be honest and also another thing to mention is that the watercolors are obviously made to go with the watercolor paper from the same brand like they go together beautifully but again you would expect that because they're from the same brand i am yet to try these uh watercolors with another watercolor paper that i already owned previously like my dale Rowney watercolor paper which is my favorite so i'll definitely check back in with you guys about that but so far so good with these two and then I decided to whack out my Artex uh, watercolor brush markers, which was very exciting. I wanted to kind of use all of these together to see if it would be possible for you to mix and match, you know what I mean? And I just kind of, what I did was put down a bunch of splotches of this beautiful dark green and then kind of blend over it with water. And so that's kind of how I decided to use it and it actually looked so gorgeous once you blend it out because the areas where you put down the marker are obviously darker and then and then it just kind of adds this sort of watery feel to it that obviously looks like watercolors but it's just it's an interesting texture that you don't really get with normal watercolors I think and it's just really really pretty I think so I definitely enjoyed these markers more than I thought I would uh, I'll definitely use those in the future as like a more quick, you know, quick option and they're also, if you think about it, a lot less messy because um, you don't really have to, you know, wait for the watercolors to dry or, you know, clean out your pan and everything and you're mixing stuff. I just think that they're a really cool option if you're a beginner. So after adding those greens, um, I just kind of went in with some other markers and like the reds and I added some nuances of red on top of the other watercolors and saw like try to see how that worked in and it actually worked pretty cool like to add sort of blushes and like blemishes. It worked better than I was expecting. Uh, so yeah, I'm a big fan, big fan of all of these materials together. So I just kind of kept adding to my painting and testing out as many colors as I could, sort of. I tried using a lot of the purples and stuff to add shading to her skin, which is, again, something that I've been trying to do a lot with my paintings, is trying out different styles of lighting and shading and just trying to use more color, to be honest. So yeah, these were perfect for that. And uh, yeah, the colors are all gorgeous. I'm just going to keep, you know bragging about these pretty much uh yeah that's pretty much it for this video guys uh i hope you enjoyed this review slash unboxing slash uh obsessing slash fangirling over paul rubens um thank you so much to artix for I, i'm sorry if i keep saying the brand name wrong oh my god i just realized but, so thank you so much to artix for sending me these gorgeous materials if you guys are interested in getting some for yourself obviously the links are going to be down there in the description as well as a code you can use to get some money off what isn't that just fabulous so yeah if you guys are interested the code and the links are down there in the description i hope you enjoyed watching me paint and uh yeah i really really am i'm a much happier person now that i have these paul rubens uh watercolors i'm so happy 
yeah hope you guys enjoyed i hope you have a wonderful week and i'll see you guys in my next video bye bye